right, so here we have a problem in which we are going to launch a horizontal dart from a platform at height h. The dart hits the center of a target at a horizontal distance d away from the initial launch point as shown in figure 1. The dart lands on the target at a time t. On the following axis, sketch a graph of the vertical velocity and the horizontal velocity of the dart as a function of time from time the dart leaves the platform until it hits the target. Take the upward direction as positive, and so we've kind of done this. Up is positive, down is negative, left is negative, right is positive. And so on the, ver the vertical, the y-axis, has initial velocity of zero, and it's falling. So it's going to be going negative, and what's interesting is the slope of this velocity versus time or change in velocity over change in time rise change in y over change in x rise over run is negative and it works out to be about negative 9.8 because that's what the acceleration is of the dart as it falls horizontally speaking the slope is zero because the horizontal speed of this thing once it's launched horizontally the horizontal speed is constant so steady, steady, steady. There's nothing speeding it up or slowing it down. So this horizontal speed is constant, constant, constant. Slope is zero, so no acceleration in the horizontal mode. Now back here it says derive a formula. Got a lot of scribbles, so you have to forgive me. So the formula, let's, let's cover this up so we can kind of take this a little at a time. So the velocity of this thing horizontally, remember we said the horizontal velocity is not accelerating, so constant. So velocity L is distance over time. So velocity L times time is distance. That's what we're trying to find is trying to derive an expression for the launch velocity, V sub L, needed for the dart to hit the center of the target. Express your answer in terms of HD and physical constants as appropriate. So launch velocity is distance over time, so launch velocity times time is distance. Well, time we don't know. So we need to count on another formula, and that's really this one right here, where we say delta H is equal to 1 half A T squared plus the initial T. Well, this is all vertical H, vertical acceleration, vertical velocity. And the vertical velocity initial is zero. So that's going to go away. And then over here I said delta H because technically that's H final is equal to one half a t squared plus the initial t plus h initial and h final we know is zero and h initial is h so change in h is final minus initial so it's zero minus h initial so that's going to be negative h and then g over here is negative g negative 9.8 so we have a negative sign and a negative sign we can multiply both sides by negative one so now we have h is equal to one half dt squared so, to get rid of the half, we multiply both sides by 2, and now we end up with 2h, and then divide both sides by negative g, negative g, positives. 2h over g, so there's no negatives in the radical here. Square root of 2h over g is equal to t. So now we substitute this value for t in our original equation. So, we end up with Launch velocity times time, and instead of time, we're using this substitution for time here from the second equation, is equal to the distance. That's the derivation of the formula we want.